So impressive as it is, this church is abandoned and we can't actually go in. And just taking a look around, there's another collapsing building there. And there's more of the local property there. So, and we'll see what's down there. There's more abandoned buildings. We're in Soli Galic, three hours north of Kostruma. This is a living open air museum. This is the northernmost town you can get to by road access. Um, we're about eight hours north of Moscow. I don't think any tourists come here. So stick around, we're gonna check out this town. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and we'll be back in a sec. I insisted he stop the car so I can go back and take a picture on the bridge. The road's starting to get more worn out now as we get further north. I keep missing the signs, we're just entering Soli Galic now. We're just coming into Soli Galic. This is the northernmost frontier town that we'll be visiting on this trip. It's about three hours north of Kostroma. Um, the industries are, I guess, logging and I'm not sure what else. And there's very little road access north of here. So this is about as far north as you can come by car. Then you'd have to go off-roading on four by fours on dirt roads and things like that. So let's take a look at Soli Galic. See the building on the left? Oh, that's the market thing. It's a very unique market thing, and yeah. uh, I think let's go there. Even I will take a picture of it because I think. Okay, here we are in Soli Galic. Um, I thought that was Stalin. That actually looks like some short, fat guys. I don't know who it is. Um, this is the old palace, so it's now abandoned and all boarded up. And we're taking a look here. Remember in Galic we had the, the Roman style trading arches. This is a wood style trading arch. It's one of the, I think the only or the last ones that's here. Tony's saying that in the past when he came it was still open but now it looks like it's all uh, closed up. So that's part of the heritage here. You can see some more of the old architecture on that side as well. So again, quite a lot of historical heritage here. We're just going to carry on. Okay, so there you can see the boarded up one. That's the old palace. I wanted to come around to this side to see it from a good side. And here is, people are looking at me. Here is, we found another wood one, that this one is still in operation. So this is a preserved wooden arcade. So we'll take a look here. Okay, let's take a view there of the old presidential palace. And then we're just coming in here into the surviving wooden arcade. So this is the type of architecture that they had here. Um, I guess old uh, territory shops. And there's the other one there that's in a state of poor repair. It looks like fishing equipment. Not sure what the other stores are for. They don't look like they're open though. Okay, well they take the credit card here, but I don't know what they're selling. We just came inside one of these shops here. This is the only one it seems in operation. You have these heritage buildings here, cars turning in front of me. And that thing there is the Soviet House of Culture. You can see it's all abandoned now or actually there's people coming in and out so there is some life here but you can see a change in the culture and the lifestyle from the garlic where we were before and how this is more of a frontier town there's a lot more bicycles here
place is like a time capsule. So we were, we were just inside that restaurant. Am I getting the church? So this town is like a living time capsule. We've gone into a few of the shops. They're like turn of the sanctuary shops with the counter and the, the lady in the uniform and everything. And again, just looking at the architecture and the lifestyle here, we're going to go in and out of a few more places. This is like a living open air museum. So again, three hours north of Kostroma. This is the northernmost frontier town you can get to on road access in this part of the country. I don't think tourists are coming here. It's very unique and it's certainly worth checking this place out if you're looking for something off the beaten track. Okay, these are the sidewalks. See, so found the cat. Okay, so we're exploring Soligalic. So this church is abandoned. These are more abandoned buildings here. Here comes a tractor, so you won't be able to hear me. I just saw this, which is another abandoned church, which is absolutely amazing. So I want to go there and check. So we're in Soligalic. This is three hours north, north of Kostroma, which is the northern tip of the Golden Ring from Moscow. So this is maybe eight hours north of Moscow. So this is quite an incredible, amazing place. We're just discovering building after building here. Again, this is the northernmost town you can get to by road access at this part of the country. And then they're just rural off-road communities after that. So it's actually quite amazing. Like if you only just go to Moscow and St. Petersburg and say, I've seen Russia, you have not seen Russia. I mean, this is just incredible. So, I mean, these are the types of views here and they're just abandoned. And it's just a living open air museum here. If you look at the way the lifestyle is here. So let's continue taking a look. There's the top of the tower. There's another, not sure what that building is. Uh, there's just another local building. And in the distance there, you can see the other cathedral that we were just at. That one is also abandoned and disused. Apparently a lot of these, but they were shut down during the Soviet times. And after the Soviet times, I guess with changes in population, moving to the cities and lack of funds, uh, these buildings remained in this state of repair. But they're just incredible to look at. So I just noticed this is cracked all the way down to the base so don't know how many years are left in there but it is going to collapse at some point and then just to span here that was the other cathedral that one it looks nicer from the outside but that one is also abandoned and then just more of the local houses here oh no there's another cat it's gonna get jealous Okay, here's another collapsed building with the church in the background over there. And then if you look on this side, there's sort of a river. And then some coloured houses down there. And then there was the other church that we were just at. A lot of these vintage cars or bicycles are the means of transportation. And then just more of these traditional houses here. Again, this is not Moscow, this is not St. Petersburg, this is not places tourists come to. nightclub because there's nowhere else to eat and I guess there's nowhere else for the locals to hang out either as you can see there or oh, they just turned it off but this is the dance floor there's the disco lights up there okay so we're just gonna order some pizza okay these are our sides what is that tower it's a rye bread okay baked or cooked with the garlic okay our pizza finally arrived. I was telling Tony in Toronto it's 30 minutes or it's free. This was probably about 30 minutes. Double free. Okay. Take a picture on the 
right side. Oh, that's nice, yeah. More of those Soviet-style vehicles and bicycles. Those are the two of the main ways of, of transportation here. Again, a much different lifestyle. This is more of a outpost town, frontier town. If we were to continue more north, it's just going to keep changing because they're more disconnected. We're just ending our tour of Soligalic. This is eight hours north of Moscow and a frontier town. So the end of road access, as you've seen in, our, in my video today, it's a very different way of life here. It's more of an outpost. Um, again, as the road access ends here, there's a cyclist going by again. So, yeah, much slower pace of life and um, more of an outliving heritage village. So I hope you enjoyed this. I remember to subscribe to my channel. We'll start the route back down south to Moscow now over the next two days. So remember to subscribe to watch more of this adventure. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed the Russia travel series. Remember to subscribe to my channel to check out more of my videos.